Welcome to the Word of Encouragement channel. Let us pray for our endocrine system so that our hormones will be in balance. I come before Jesus and ask for the forgiveness of my sins. I remove any unforgiveness in my heart that I may unknowingly have toward anyone. I release anything that may be holding me back from furthering my relationship with you. I repent of my sins today and ask that you clean my heart so that I can come before you and receive my healing. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for us on the cross. Because we believe in you and the resurrection, the Spirit gives us life because we have been made right with God. The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in us. And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, he will give life to our mortal bodies by this same Spirit living in us according to Romans 8. So just as sin ruled over all people and brought them to death, now God's wonderful grace rules instead, giving us right standing with God and resulting in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. These words of truth of Jesus' resurrection gives us the authority to speak healing over our bodies. We speak your word over our hormone balance or endocrine system, Lord. A system that gives us a sense of well-being in our day-to-day -day lives. A system that makes us feel strong, young, and vibrant. When our hormones decline, we don't feel like we have our full potential. But our King sits on the throne. He waits for us to take hold of what He's done for us. And so we do that today by using the power of the tongue. According to Proverbs 18, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. And so we speak life into our body today. Thank you, Jesus. We speak to adrenal insufficiency. Our adrenal gland releases the normal amount of cortisol and aldosterone in Christ Jesus. We no longer have fatigue, stomach upset, dehydration, and skin changes due to adrenal insufficiency. We pray against Addison's disease, a type of adrenal insufficiency, and any other adrenal gland disease that we are unaware of. Thank you, Jesus, for a normal pituitary gland. Our pituitary gland that is responsible for releasing multiple hormones secretes each hormone in perfect order and timing. We pray against gigantism or acromegaly and other growth hormone problems. There is no longer a prominent size of the head and coarse facial features. The hands and the feet will be of normal size and the thickening of fingers and toes will come down. There is no longer excessive sweating, large appetite, and general weakness. Our strength is renewed in Christ Jesus. We speak to Graves' disease and any evidence of hyperthyroidism in our body. There is no excessive weight loss, fast heart rate, sweating, nervousness, excessive hunger, fatigue, heat intolerance, hyperactivity, irritability, and restlessness. There is no longer an abnormal heart rhythm, palpitations, and elevated heart rate due to an overactive thyroid gland. Our mood is normal. There are no panic attacks. Our eyes are healed and not protruding or puffy. Menstrual cycles are no longer short, light, and irregular in Christ Jesus. Oh, we praise you, O oh Lord. Heal us, O oh Lord, and we will be healed. Save us and we will be saved, for you are the one we praise, according to Jeremiah 17 and 14. Thank you, Father, for healing hypothyroidism, where the thyroid gland does not produce enough thyroid hormone. We no longer have fatigue, constipation, dry skin, depression, and any other symptoms of hypothyroidism. We pray against hypopituitarism, where the pituitary gland releases little or no hormones, causing multiple symptoms of hormone imbalance, Father. I pray against multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1 and 2, 
which are rare genetic conditions passed down through families. They cause tumors of the parathyroid, adrenal and thyroid glands, leading to overproduction of hormones. We pray against polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is an overproduction of androgens that interfere with the development of eggs and their release from the female ovaries. We pray against it and the infertility caused by it. We pray against precocious puberty, where abnormally early puberty occurs when the glands tell the body to release sex hormones too soon in life, Father. We pray against it all. Our hormone balance is so important, Lord. It affects every area of our lives and our well-being. Many of us are living frustrated with hot flashes, intimacy problems with our spouse, embarrassment of some of the outward physical signs and symptoms of hormone issues. Lord, we place these things at your feet. The victorious King who has died for us on the cross so that we can be healed of all these things, every ailment afflicting us. We glorify you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We stand on the side of victory with King Jesus and proclaim our healing by faith we just put every hormone imbalance at your feet father any hormone imbalance that i did not mention in this prayer like the parathyroid gland problems the pancreas problems every other exocrine and endocrine organ that i didn't mention in this prayer i put it before you right now whoever stands in a need for other hormones we put it at your feet right now father and we thank you for god's will was for us to be made holy by the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all time. For by that one offering, he forever made perfect those who are being made holy. Lord, allow us to have a posture of holiness, aiming to be more like Christ, so that you can speak to us in our appeal for healing. Show us what we have to remove from our hearts to be healed. Show us who we have to forgive. Show us where our relationship needs to be with you. Show us the offenses that need to be removed. Show us to see those who have offended us like you see them and allow us to show compassion toward them. Anything that stands in the way of our healing father, Put it before our eyes in the spirit so that we can take care of it, so we can grab a hold of it and claim and receive our healing. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We lift you up on high. We thank you for this God's anatomy prayer. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for being the mouthpiece of this prayer. And we just thank you for the healing testimonies that will come from this prayer. Amen and amen.